Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous videos, we had designed this Facebook like stories using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And in those videos, I had some comments asking me how to add videos instead of these images over here. So in this video, I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. Right here, I'm in the source code of our design and I will leave the link of the source code in the description. Now here, I have already created a folder called videos and in that I have added these videos over here. Now I have downloaded these videos from a website called pexels.com. So you can just go to pexels.com and download free videos for your websites. And from the videos, I took screenshots and uh, I have saved them as these thumbnails. So these are the thumbnails for our videos. Now in this video, we will add this uh, thumbnail and these videos to our design. Now if you go back to our design here, we can see that uh, we have these uh, images over here. But if you click on any of these images, it is displayed in full screen mode. Now in our video version, we want to display the thumbnails over here. And when we click on the thumbnail, we want to display the full video over here. So for that, let's go back to our HTML file and here in the full screen view, which is uh, this division with the class of stories, full view. So here we have this image. Now instead of this image, we need to add a video. So I'll just comment this code. So let's create a video tag. And here for the source, we need to add it using JavaScript. Now before going to the JavaScript, let's go ahead and update the CSS. So let's go to the style CSS file. And uh, here if we scroll down, here we can see we have added some styles for the IMG inside the stories full view. So we need to change this IMG into a video because right now we have this video over here. But now let's go to our JavaScript and uh, let's make the changes. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to change the image URL. So right now it is set to images forward slash these images right here. Now we need to change these to the images inside this thumbnails folder. So you can select all of these images from here. You can just press Ctrl D or Command D to select the next occurrence. And let's select all these uh, images from here. And let's change this to videos forward slash thumbnails forward slash and we have these images. Now if you go back to the thumbnails folder, we can see that for the images, we have this name of number hyphen thumb dot PNG. So let's change this. So I'll just select this ending part from here and I'll just press command D to select all the occurrences. And let's change all of these to hyphen thumb dot PNG. Right now, the next thing we need to do is we need to add the link of the video. So I'll just select this last part from here and I'll just press command D to select all these occurrences. And let's press the right arrow and let's press enter. And let's tap video URL and we'll set it to videos forward slash and we have these videos dot mp4. Right now I'll just simply update these video names. So we have 2.mp4, 3.mp4 and so on. Right, I have updated all these objects. Now let's go ahead and start updating the JavaScript code. So the first thing we will do is we will change this story image full to this video. So I'll just change this constant name to story video full. And here instead of IMG, let's tap video. Right now let's scroll down and uh, here for the update full view function, we have the story image full. So we need to change this to story video full. And here instead of image URL, you need to change this to video URL. Right now let's go back to our website and let's see how it looks. So here we can see that all the thumbnails are displayed over here. Let's click on one of these thumbnails. And here we can see that the video is displayed but it is not playing. So let's go back. And let's go to the HTML file. And here we need to add an attribute called autoplay. And now let's click on this first thumbnail. And here we can see that the video is being played. Let's click on another thumbnail. Let's click on this one right here. And here we have the video being played. Let's close this. Now even if we close this, the video is still not being closed because in the background it is still playing. So for that, let's go back to our code. And let's go to the code where we write the close function. So here we have the code for closing the full screen view. Now here we also need to pause the video. So let's tap story, video full. 
dot pause and now let's go back to our design and let's click on this video and now let's close this and we can see that the video has closed now the next thing we need to think about is what should happen when the video has ended so let's open this video and here we can see that the video is being played and let's see what happens after the video ends Now here we can see that the video has ended and it is staying in the last frame of the video. Now there are three things we can do in this situation. We can loop the video. So let's go back and we need to go to the HTML file and here we need to type loop. And now let's go back and let's select this video. And right now the video is being played. And here we can see after the video has ended, the video has started playing again. So this will loop the video once the video has ended. Now you can also click on the next and the previous buttons and everything is working all right. Now the next thing we can do is that once the video ends, we can just simply close this full screen mode. So for that, let's go back and let's remove this loop from here. And let's go back to the JavaScript file and let's scroll down and let's add an event listener to the story video full so let's type story video full dot add event listener and we need to listen for an event called ended so this event will be called after the video has ended playing now here we will simply copy and paste the code of the close function so i'll just copy these two lines of code from here and i'll just paste it over here All right now let's go back and uh, let's open one of these videos so let's open this video right here. So here we can see once the video has ended, the full screen mode has stopped. Now the next thing we can do is once the video has stopped playing, we can go to the next video. So let's go back. And uh, for that, let's go ahead and add an if condition over here. Now here we need to check whether this is the last video. And if it is the last video, then after the video has ended playing we can just close the full screen view so here in this if condition i'll just type current active which is a variable that we had created over here and we are keeping a track of the index of the array over here so here let's type if current active is greater than or equal to all stories which is this array so here we can see we have this array with the name of all stories and then we need to type dot length minus one so this will check whether we are on the last video and let's add the following code inside the if condition and we'll also add a return and after the if condition i'll just type current active and i'll just increment it by one so i'll just type plus plus and here we need to update the full view which is this function right here so let's call this function where we are updating the video source so let's type update full view Right now let's go back to our design and let's see whether it works so let's open one of these videos from here so let's open this one right here let's see after the video ends if it goes to the next video and here we can see after the video has ended it has gone to the next video so everything is working all right now let's open the last video and let's see whether after the video ends it closes the full screen view so let's click on the last video and here we can see after the video has ended playing the full screen view also has stopped so that's basically how you can add videos instead of images in this fb like stories design now let's see how to add this to our blogger website right here i'm in my blogger dashboard and uh, let's create a new post and we will add this design inside a new post so let's click on new post and i'll just add a title i'll just type stories and here the first thing we need to do is we need to change this into an html view by default it will be in the compose view so click on this button and click on html view now here you can add the html css and javascript so i'll just create a style tag and here we will add the css so let's go back to our source code and uh, let's copy all the css from here from this line of code 
till the end and let's copy all of this and let's paste it inside this style tag now let's scroll down and uh, let's add the HTML so let's go back and let's go to the HTML file and uh, let's copy all this HTML from here till here and uh, let's copy and paste it over here now the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript so let's create a script tag over here now in the script tag we will add the JavaScript so let's go back to our source code and let's copy all this JavaScript from here and let's paste it over here now here if you scroll up here we can see that in the JavaScript code we have all these objects inside the array now we need to change the image URL and the video URL because we don't have these videos and thumbnails folder in our blogger website it is in our local project so what we need to do is uh, we need to upload these videos and images somewhere and get the link and paste it over here and for that you can use a website called cloudinary.com you can simply go ahead and go to cloudinary.com create a free account and log into the account and then just go to the media library and you'll find this page now you can click on upload button to upload your videos and images but what I will do is I'll just create two folders to make everything organized so let's click on this create a new folder button and let's call this folder thumbnails and let's create another folder called videos and uh, let's click on save so here we have these two folders created so let's go ahead and open this folder right here and let's click on this upload button and let's click on browse and here we have all these videos so let's go ahead and select all of these and let's click on open and here we can see all the videos are being uploaded so now we can see all the videos have been uploaded now let's go back to the main folder and uh, let's go inside the thumbnails folder and let's click on upload and browse and let's click on this thumbnails folder and uh, let's select all these thumbnails from here and let's click on open and here we can see all these thumbnails have been uploaded now these thumbnails are not optimized so here we can see we have large sizes for these images you can go ahead and optimize your images for better performance in your real website I just use these images now what you need to do is you need to copy the URL of these images and videos from here and paste it over here so for example for the first thumbnail let's go back to Cloudinary and uh, let's scroll down and let's see where is the first thumbnail so here we have the first thumbnail so you can just click on this button called copy URL and go back and paste it over here and then for the video let's go back and uh, let's go back to the videos folder and you need to find the first video so here we have the first video so let's click on this copy URL button let's go back and let's paste it over here now in this way you need to add the links of all the thumbnails and videos over here so I'll just quickly go ahead and do that right I have updated the links of all these videos and images now let's go ahead and click on publish and confirm and here we can see that our post has been published so let's click on view and here we can see that our stories are being displayed over here we can click on this next and previous buttons and everything is working let's click on one of these stories and we can see that the video is being played let's click on the next button and it is working all right let's click on the close button and it is also working all right so you can open any of these stories and uh, the video will be played and if it is the last video of the list of stories then after the video ends the full screen mode will also end so that's basically how you can add videos inside this stories design using HTML CSS and JavaScript alright so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.